Welcome back everybody, my name is Kuden, and we're taking a look at PC Building Simulator today. I'm actually doing this on part of, with a consultation with a school. It's actually my old high school, that their technology director wanted a presentation on this game. Now, I hope I can get in contact with the developers and see if we can work out maybe something along the lines of education license, but for right now, I'm just doing a presentation to the technology director. Yeah, I'm gonna see what this can do for their computer program. I know it's still in early access, but hopefully with that being said, it'll still be a good solution for them. So let's take a look. Okay, let's see, career in mode game, how to build a PC, free build. Let's do how to build a PC. Cool. I like this. How to build a PC mode. Learn how the main components of a PC and how they fit together. I'm going to kind of try to make this as clear as possible and make sure that it's easy to understand because I've done this a dozen times, but someone who's never done this can be interesting. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Open the side panels. Click and hold. Oh, cool. Go to rotate the camera. Oh, this is cool. Ah. Oh, you want this one too. Okay. So I got the panels off, installed the PSU. Uh, oh, power supply unit. I just recently had to do this for my computer since it's PSU started to go. No idea what it was, but Probably just because it was old. It lives behind a PSU mount which needs to be removed before the PSU can be installed. Oh, down here. Oh, I didn't do this. Oh. Yeah. And yep. And there's a couple screws that hold it in place. Oh. Open the... Oh, cool! Oh, this is, this is cute. Fan mains power modular ports. Whoa, whoa. Oh, this is exactly like the one I, I got recently. It says a modular cable setup. So normally power supplies or lowering power supplies have all these wires already integrated into the unit. This one has it where you can actually select which wires you're going to need so you don't actually overload the case and get it all like cramped. Cool. Install. It slides in. Okay. And then we got to put on the, the mount. Put the screws back on. Oh wow, you got you zoom in a lot. Yay! Oh, well, that's a power supply. At the heart of the PC is the motherboard and all the major components. Uh -huh. That's this bad boy. There's a lot going on. Okay. Here we go. Huh. Front panel headers. This connector is where you attach all the ports and buttons of your case to the motherboard. Whoops. So the front panel headers are all like the USB ports and all that stuff. SATA ports, serial ATA ports. That's where the hard drives are connected. It used to be some just uh, serial ribbon cables. CMOS battery is basically CMOS. Or it's the um, it's the settings on your computer, and the CMOS battery keeps all those settings intact. Standoffs, 
Oh, yeah, stand up. It's a little holes there. Uh, PCI slots are very high speed connections. So PCI slots are all like your graphics cards and other Wi-Fi or sound cards that are built in. Chipset. Process that support the CPU and manage how it works. Model has its own bespoke chipset is designed to get the most from it. Whoops. Uh, power. Ram slots. Ram. Oh, God damn it. Come on. Ram slots. These long ones here. God, I should really turn down the music or something. I don't know. And then there's the CPU socket where the CPU and IO ports. So all the ports of the back of your computer. Here we go. So screw in standoffs. So these standoffs will actually provide space between the case and the motherboard. Okay. All right, and then you screw on top of those. There we go, and last one. All right, connect to cables. Two. Oh, that's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. That's how you get it to run through nice and neat. As many times as I've built computers. Oh, okay, there's the connectors. Uh, yeah, as many times as I've built computers, I've never been able to do anything with uh, cable management. The inside of my computer is a literal mess. It looks like someone threw in a bomb full of spaghetti and just let, let it go off. It doesn't, it's not pretty. But it works, but most of the time. Okay. The CPU is a piece of the brain. Profits calculations based on information from some components and passes reals to others. Uh, Cool. I wonder what kind of, it doesn't have any labels, so I don't know what kind it is. Processor or die is the chip that does all the calculation in the computer and it's very delicate and has tightly packed so it gets hot quickly. That's an understatement. So fun story. So I have a AMD Phantom 4 Plus. So this this little guy I have installed on my computer is does calculations at the rate of 4.4.5 gigahertz or 4.5 million calculations a second. Something like that. 4.5 million calculations a second. And it can auto adjust itself so it can actually get faster while overclocking its clock to five gigahertz a second. Now there are eight cores, four physical cores and four logical cores. Now, what that means is four physical cores is there are four tiny layers to, come to the processor. Each of those is a core that's separated into one slum side one and two. So it can do basically eight things or eight jobs at once in calculation series. So instead of have waiting for information to go in one after another, it can do have eight streams of information going at once. Uh, so because of that, I had upgraded from a slightly lower power CPU. The first time I installed it, wouldn't turn on. It would turn on, run for a second and turn itself off. I found out that the heatsink, which was a normal air cooled heatsink, wasn't enough. I found that out by uh, <laughs> touching the CPU after I had it on for a while. And I burned myself. I had to wait until I got a liquid cooled uh, unit, which I have installed now, which I might need a beefer one because it still gets pretty warm. 
Also, heat is the number one reason why any electronics fail. Heat. Always heat. Oh, oh. How do I... Oh, oh, okay, that's how you pad. Okay, that opens the bracket. Let me put the CPU in, and you close the shi- Oh, there's a shield, and then you close the bracket, that slides into place. Okay, thermal paste. Now, I'm gonna give you guys caution about thermal paste. Do not let it touch your hands. The stuff I used was called, um... Oh, fuck. Uh, Quicksilver. Now, there's little, it's a polymer, it's a polymer, so it's like a rubber, a rubberized plastic with metal in it. And if you get that on your hands, it will itch, it will burn, and it will be unpleasant because there are literally metallic particles in this stuff. Yep, and you just need the tiniest dab, maybe the size of a dime. So it's super cool. Two main goodness, air or water. Please have water, please have water. <gasps> oh, this is just uh, air cooled. So, okay, so there's the plate that uh, touches onto the thermal contact paste. Now that will transfer heat to the cooling, the heat sink. So this, this big guy. And the heat will radiate out into all these little fans here. And then the fan will send air across and cool it. There we go. And you connect the power there. And then you connect it to the motherboard. So you connect it to the power and the motherboard because you want it to have be able to monitor the heat and react when it's supposed to. So it gets faster when it's hot and slower when it's cool. Grabs card! <laughs> oh, this is this is a pretty low end one. This is it's not, uh, maybe it's not so bad. PCI grabs processor. Yep. Fan he has his own fan heat sink. Back plate, which looks like it has HDMI, a VGA, and a DVI. Oh. Uh, go down here. Okay, move the. There we go. Grab the card, and you slide it like so. And we're up. It's all memory. Now, memory is basically what allows you to your computer to do a lot of things at once. Got your memory chips. Yep. Box. Huh. Locking switches. Huh. Oh, the locking switches are supposed to be on the ends. Huh. That's all right. Okay. Oh, so you pop these little guys open here. And then you slide them in and you press down and they will lock in place. Hard drive. It's all your storage space. SATA and power is on the back here. Oh, I remember when computer components were way bulkier. Close the dry bay. Uh -huh. Power to one of the power ports. Oh, we, oh yeah, nope. That wasn't the power. And there's the power. Give out heat. Case fans will keep the temperature down by moving a hot air out of the case. Okay. Fan! That's pretty self explanatory. Where is the. Oh, the fan's gonna go in the back of the case. Alright. Uh, I just uh, screw that in place. Alright, to the motherboard. <laughs> God, this is actually really fun. Hala, turn to the PC. Power plug, USB. 
Oh, that's HMI. Power button! Oh, that's cute! <laughs> and that's pretty much the bare bones of how to build a PC. Now, after that, I never show how to install a CD drive. Oh, that's the other thing. Nowadays, it's basically connected the same way a hard drive is. Same connector, same deal, except it goes on in front of the case. That's the other thing. Because after that, you have to install your operating system, like Windows, or if you're really, really thrifty, you go after Linux. And then you install all your games and all your drivers and all that good stuff. That's pretty much a basic rundown of what I'm going to guess this is going to be. Now, once again, my name is Kewden. This has been PC Building Simulator, at least the first little bit. Now again, I'm doing this to help out with a little presentation for my high school's tech program. This seems like it would actually be a big help for those who want to go into computers and have no background, no knowledge whatsoever. Because that's all really basic, like everything from installing to the ports to the explanations is really, really easy to understand. It doesn't go into too much detail and overload your information. This is a hands-on approach. Like, here's what you do. This is what it's going to look like in general. Thankfully, most of everything's been standardized to the point at which if you know one computer, you can generally work with any other components. And I really hope that this helps. And on that note, I'll see everybody later.